Welcome back everybody. We are headed to Toys R Us today, but unfortunately it looks like they've turned it into a Joann's. So while we're here, I guess we might as well go inside and see what kind of spooky Halloween offerings they have this year. Before we go in, I did want to say a special thank you to all of the patrons who help support the channel. If you are interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out the link to my Patreon page in the description below. With that said, let's go ahead and head on in and see if there are any fun toys that we can still buy. Now I will admit, this is one of those stores that I only hit at the Halloween season. I know it's just a general big craft store now, but to me it's still Joanne Fabrics and it always just felt a little bit weird to be going in there. But I will say that the store was packed, well maybe not packed, but the parking lot was relatively full and there were a lot of people around. It didn't look like many people were shopping the Halloween section though. In fact, I did actually run into an old coworker of mine while we were shopping and I wanted to see what she was up to these days, and she's of course here for Christmas shopping, and she was disappointed that they didn't have enough Christmas stuff out already. In my opinion, they had too much Christmas stuff out already, because that's taking up the room for all of this fun Halloween stuff here. So to get to the merchandise, the main shelving here right across from the entrance doors has lots of this greenery. It's, it's very... I don't even know what you would call it, kind of gardeny Halloween. It's not really harvest Halloween, which I would associate more with, you know, gourds and pumpkins and oranges and yellows and reds. Um, this almost feels kind of like springtime, or at least summertime. But they do have some fun stuff. This eek sign was the one thing in the entire store that I almost bought. I love that the way they have the 3D letters and the snake all wrapped around it, and that snake actually was kind of rubbery. Very gross feeling. And I guess that's about as, I wouldn't say like gross or gory or, you know, typical Halloween scary stuff that you're going to find here. Most of this is this very happy Halloween sort of merchandise. There's a, a few skeleton things here and there and some bones, but for the most part, um, it's just sort of more of the pretty looking decorating things. I was a little surprised we didn't see more wreath options. Um, or floral garland type things being so crafty here. Um, it's definitely not like Michael's where they have a plethora of that merchandise and then all the sort of odds and ends you would need to make your own wreaths. I really like that bat door hanger for the wreaths. I keep meaning to pick one of those up for myself because I do like decorating with the wreaths and I typically just have a regular brown wreath hanger. It's nothing special. And that little bat seems to add a nice little element to it. And now that I'm talking this through out loud, I should just go hot glue a bat onto my existing one. Maybe I will do that. You'll have to check out my walkthrough of my house, which is coming up possibly tomorrow, uh, to see if I do that. I'm, I'm honestly probably won't in time for the video, but I might get it done before Halloween. Um, that bat, that is. Because unfortunately, after I finish narrating this video, I have to go to work today on a Saturday. So I'm going to try and film my interior walkthrough after work when I get home today and uh, share that with you. So it's always one of those situations where I never feel like I am completely done with my decorating. I can always find little things I would like to add or tweak. But uh, at some point, I got to call it done. Now that it is October 1st, it's time to start decorating outside. So... Uh, I need some time for that. They did have some interesting things that we could use to decorate outside here, which we'll get to in a little bit, but most of this stuff is interior. Uh, but here we go, we have some inflatables. Um, I'm a little shocked at the pricing of these inflatables. I mean, like over $100 for some of these. That I guess, though, the point is that they are 60% off, and you have to take into account that sale pricing when you're um, buying things here. Someone at my work even told me as I was relating to them my shock over the pricing of some of this merchandise was that they said really you know they only buy things when it goes to 90% off uh, to use the next year. Which might be why these shelves are still so full. I also noticed that there was a table at the front of the store. Uh, there was an employee just sort of telling people they didn't make a big announcement but there was a sign on it that it had free merchandise and it was it looked like it was clearly out of season stuff there's some fourth of july stuff a lot of spring stuff and then just some general merchandise that you can clearly tell just didn't sell but rather than marking it down you know, to 90 percent off or whatever maybe they had at some point 
they were just giving it away with any purchase. So they can afford to do that because of all of the high prices that you're going to see here. I haven't really pointed all of them out. I'll try to point some of them out here and there. But like the first thing I actually saw when I walked into the store was a display of ribbons. And the sign on it was like, buy one. I think it was buy one, get four free. And so you know if you're able to give four free with the purchase of one, that the pricing is just a little crazy. All right. They do have lots of this stuff that you can use to, you know, paint and, and craft your own thing. That board that we just saw with that uh, spider web on it was particularly nice. You can make a little welcome sign of your own for that. I did my own welcome sign a couple of videos ago, you may remember if you watched, uh, in the shape of a coffin. It was much, much bigger um, and very easy to use. So check that out if you're interested. Um, one thing I did with that is I lit it up with some black lighting. I don't think I saw any black lights here, but they do have a number of string lights. But oh my gosh, is that $24.99 for a set of 100 string lights? I don't understand that because even if you're getting 60% off, hold on, let me get out my calculator here. All right, so we're going to end up paying 40% of, oh, there's a sign there, I guess. Oh, it's 50% off. That's even worse. So $12.50 for a thing of string lights. Oh, I don't know about that. I do like these stacking pumpkins, though, that they have that hole drilled in the bottom to you know go over that bit of stem to make them easily stackable if you want. If they had different facial designs, I would love that. Um, that could really compete with like the Home Depot stacked pumpkin options, but not at the prices. I guess you're probably going to pay for a single one here. I've got a lot of things to decorate your lawn with here. And of course, some boxes for inside to hold all your crafty things. You won't be able to buy much of them here. That's why the boxes are pretty small. Here are the ribbons. Okay, it's three free. Buy one, get three free. So three, well, you know, it looks like it's six bucks for a thing of ribbon. Um, so between four, that's not a bad price. But, you know, you have to buy it while it's on sale. And why do they do that? I just can't stand the games that these retailers play. Drives me crazy. Just give me a price. I don't want to have to wait for a sale. I don't want to use a coupon. I just want to go in and buy what I want when I see it because I don't want to have to make another trip back thinking I have to come at sale time or with a coupon. You know, like I know at Michael's to get the coupons or use the vouchers or whatever, you have to be signed up for their program. I don't want to be signed up for their program. I don't want the emails. I can't keep up with all the emails I have right now. I don't need to see more spam in my box. I just want to go and buy the product. All right, with that rant over, let's see what we can talk about about the merchandise. I love this little pinwheel with the ghosts that sort of uh, will spin around the haunted house. I do think that is a fantastic idea. They do have a cocoon corpse and a couple of gravestones. This one even lights up. Not bad, okay. Um, there's some spiders there. I will admit, I have always wanted this sort of grave mound decoration. I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like in real life. All right, what does this do? Here's a button. Wow, that's intense. Okay. Um, all right, over here we've got some chain now. Wow, again, it's several times the price that you're going to find for the almost exact same looking chain that you'll find at the Dollar Tree. However, it does feel like it is a bit um, strange dirtier and stronger, but it's still just generic plastic chain. Love the large skulls. Of course, you can find some way to incorporate that into a giant skeleton project. You know, those 12 foot skeletons at Home Depot are the hot decorating item these last few years. Uh, I'm excited to have finally gotten that 12 foot uh, Inferno Reaper, that sort of pumpkin one that I've been looking for. Surprised they don't have some sort of tall ghost, although they did have a phantom actually. I think it was 15 feet tall. It just looked a little cheesy to me. I know a lot of people really like it, not my taste, but it didn't also, it's, it wasn't a traditional ghost. I love this bat welcome mat. I should buy that for my vampire theme this year. But I did already buy some welcome mats at other stores. That's the problem with buying the merchandise too early in the season. You're always going to find something else later that you probably wish you would have bought. Probably won't be a giant gnome. I will never regret not buying the giant gnome. But this is why I do these videos as well. To show you guys what's out there so you can 
shop before you go make your mistake purchases and buy one of these wildly overpriced trees when you can see all the different tree options that I've looked at this year and actually ended up with the ones at five below that were only five bucks. Not bad, doesn't look quite as nice as that, but it is what it is. I've got some dish towels and stands and general Halloween signage. I mean, they have these Halloween signs everywhere in the store. I do like that tablecloth, but they don't seem to have ones for like round tables or anything. It's just, just the one, which kind of surprises me because they have 800 different pumpkin signs. Not sure how that trick-or-treat sign fits in that little box. It must be some sort of plastic. I do not know what all of these little dangly things are for. Are you just supposed to like hang these on your door or something? Are they ornaments? What the heck is this? But this is a kind of witchy section, which I'm a little surprised. I mean, I don't know much about Joanne, but I suspect you're not going to find this sort of merchandise at Hobby Lobby. And although I am doing a fortune teller theme this year, I do kind of like that, uh, those napkins. They don't really have a whole lot of it, and there's nothing that I would really need to buy to put into my display. I think if you're going to do it, at least put some interesting stuff out. Now, I tried to look at the pricing on that spider web. It's a little light, and I can't read it in the video, and I can't remember how much it was. But suffice it to say, I was sufficiently shocked when I saw the pricing. I mean, I want to say it was like six to eight bucks, something insane, when you can get the exact same thing, I assume at Walmart for like a dollar. It's just completely unreasonable. All right, we've got some pumpkins, lots of different designs. I do kind of like that little eek stacked pumpkin. But in general, the merchandise here, honestly, is kind of forgettable. Happy haunting. I mean, we've seen a number of pumpkins and decor and so forth already. But aside from the things that I've actually pointed out specifically, can you really remember any of the things we just looked at? It's just kind of a jumble of stuff. Nothing that's exciting or unique or you want it. It's just the same stuff that you kind of see in the other generic stores, which is a little disappointing. I think that is why Home Depot is becoming the go-to place for Halloween decorations. It's no longer these sort of like crafty decor stores. People want the unique merchandise, those 12-foot skeletons, all the animated props that are innovative and new. It's this stuff that you see every year that kind of just gets boring. I mean, for goodness sake, how many framed jack-o'-lantern faces have we seen today? Of course, I do like that little typewriter. I have one myself in a different version, a little bit larger than that. But... This one is small, and it's just a little decorative piece, whereas mine kind of looks like a real prop. I do actually like these stacked skulls, I'll give them that. But then they go and ruin it. I mean, they've got the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil skulls. How many times have we seen that? I'm a little surprised we don't see some yoga skeletons in here somewhere. Um, I will say I do like this book. With, but you can never go wrong with the raven on top of a skull. I have that decoration all over my own house. Um, they add some greenery to it. I guess that is a little bit unique. I will give them that. That little boo kind of reminds me of those 60s Batman sort of pow signs. <laughs> All right, we've got a stand-up vampire, a couple of feet tall. He's kind of cute. There's that large gnome we just saw. And there's a witch option as well. All right, around the store, we're going to find little bits of Halloween here and there as well. These are some appliques in different Halloween designs couple of more over here, and then we have some jewelry. Now, I am a little surprised that it looks like most of this stuff has been picked over already, so I'm not sure um, if they just didn't have any or that was actually popular. A few bags for trick-or-treating. Of course, my size one is that one at the bottom. That was a giant, giant bag. And then we've got some skeletons over here, finally, but nothing that's like fully life-size. It's like, they're so close. I mean, that one must be like four feet tall. Why couldn't they have at least made it like five feet tall? And here, you know, I do love seeing the new skeleton animals every year. They just get more and more outrageous. Now we have a skeleton chicken. Uh, I guess if we're going to do a farm theme, that would work okay. But honestly, I think they just keep churning these things out, thinking, what animal haven't we done yet? Here's a chicken. Okay. 
And then of course, now we can start making everything the iridescent. We've got an angler fish with a light. Um, not, not knocking the iridescent. I started getting on that train myself this year, bought some iridescent pumpkins. I do like the skeleton alien. Uh, we've got some creepy cloth in various colors. I do like that they have that sort of bright white. Of course, Joanne Fabrics had lots of fabric options. I didn't do much video on that because, I mean, it's a fabric store. They had it everywhere. Um, but check that out if you're interested. And then you can buy some little crafty things for your kids. Get them started in the Halloween spirit as early as possible in their lives. Get them painting some fun things or some more fun things over here. These things are not a bad price, I guess. $2.99. Keep your kid active for a few minutes while they paint a little project. Actually, I'm kind of jealous. I want to do that myself. It looks fun. All right. A couple of more here. And then, of course, I was wondering where Nightmare Before Christmas was. And I'm not disappointed. I'm a little surprised that they didn't have more of this. This whole Disney end cap. Um, which, by the way, I don't think Harry Potter is Disney. That's just kind of mixed in there. Um, this is it. I am really kind of surprised there's not more my Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, but we do have lots and lots of pumpkins, like I said. There are rows and rows of them for whatever taste you have for your pumpkins. Even if you wanted to create and paint your own pumpkin there. Or just go with the traditional looking ones. These ones actually look kind of real, so I'm impressed with that. And then, of course, Hocus Pocus 2 just came out on Disney+. Plus. We'll have to check that out. But for now, we're going to do some more store shopping, so stay tuned for that, as well as more DIYs, product reviews, and so forth. So till next time, thanks for watching, take care, and happy haunting.